Well, good morning, everyone. <laughs> Turns out I remembered to chart, start my charts early today so everything would have a chance to load. Uh, but I forgot to open up the room. Oh, boy. Early onset old timers, I think. Sorry about that. Thanks for hanging out. Yesterday, what a day, what a, well, uh, this day looking, well, it was impressive to the short side, but looking much more impressive as the market made a huge move through the overnight and then continued that move through the day. Uh, you can see the overnight again continuing lower. We're opening pretty much where we left off yesterday, so no significant opening gaps to consider. Um, but it's really kind of a wild kind of session trying to make sense of what the market's going to do from here. It's not your traditional pullback. It's not like this kind of scenario where the market steps back or here, this one's textbook. Market goes down, you get three nice days moving the opposite direction and then the trend resumes. That's what we normally expect. Here the market goes down, we get three nice days. The market tries to go down, it goes up, it goes down. It's it's really conflicted volume, very, very high yesterday as well. So there's something going on. Traders are loading up. We're just not quite clear what the direction is just yet. But all this volatility has certainly made for some interesting opportunities. Looking here at the Eagle, you can see the overnight. Oh, actually, I guess the overnight and the NQ did make some decent ranges didn't really go very far, at least for a couple hours prior to the open. Trade forecaster calling for trend mode for the duration of the morning. Well, right now it's not really looking much like a trend mode. We got ourselves a nice number one signal here on the the raptor. I'm too late to get in now on the the follow up signal, but that did have a nice little move lower. Whoa, lots of activity here this morning. Okay, well, we got a number two signal now with a big second push opportunity on that. Oh, forget that. <laughs> We're back down here by the lows. Well, we do have the market in a little bit of a pinch. No, I'm not going to do anything with this. I was going to suggest we bracket. We bracket the highs, we bracket the lows. I think we'll just let them settle in here. We're only five minutes into the day. And we're retracing a lot of the same territory. So let's uh, let's not get myself into a, a losing position to start.
Well, the seller's looking a touch more aggressive at this point. Once we have uh, something resembling a trend, it might be easier to uh, to trade. Okay. All right, it's looking very much like we're uh we're heading lower. Okay. Wow, okay. We had a 
nice move lower and just when you think that maybe the market's becoming more bullish now we got this monster pullback to the hard edge what time is it oh yes of course it's around quarter to the hour my least favorite time of the day to trade we're going to get a trend change here on the raptor we already have a trend change on the falcon oh shoot a little bit late on that i was going to try to get on board this number three signal oh well well the volatility still uh still here Well, in a bit of a holding pattern here at the moment. As they flip flop back and forth, what's interesting is if this is a, a new trend emerging, we have our little bit of a sideways consolidation period we could put our just in case order to buy above the high oh there they go better do that oh and there they go i'm too late all right let's see if take advantage of a second push opportunity now oh, there's that number one signal they are just moving a little bit too fast for me here today Let me put my just in case order to buy up there. Oh, forget that. <laughs> oh, craziness. Okay, well, we definitely have some consolidation going on. We've got huge candy striping going on here in the um, in the raptor. Might be inclined to try. Oh, do I dare try to short it? We're going to see a resumption of the bigger trend. We could, I suppose we could put a just in case order to short down here, a just in case order to buy up here and let the market settle which way it wants to go. Okay, well, 
it's trying attempting to go higher I'll get my trade to break even at this point. Oh, I think I'm going to close out the trade. I've hit my uh, eagle target, my trend target on that move. And given all the volatility that we're seeing here this morning, I'm pretty happy to grab those $200. Uh, no chance to set a profit target or anything. That was crazy. Okay, so we have this sideways range. We're looking at a breakout and a retest. Ooh, there we go, right back into the range. Okay, let's see if we're gonna get a sell signal here. We're gonna perhaps, we already have a sell signal on the Falcon. We're gonna produce a sell signal here on the uh, Raptor. Okay, there's my number one signal. Come on, you guys. Back to the hard edge. Let's see if we get a little bit of follow through here. Last chance for the sellers. They got to get serious here or the buyers are going to tag me out. Oh, look at that. Okay. Well, it just goes back to the volatility of the day. It was worth a try because what I was looking at was the failed breakout. So let's go back here to the Eagle where you can see it a little bit better. So we had the breakout, we had the retest. I was looking for the market to head lower. In fact, if you wanted to take a longer term perspective, you could now place your just in case order to buy above here, your just in case order to sell below here. I'll set profit targets.
I should have had a little bit more follow through here to the short side. I was probably a little bit late getting in on the trade. And things are rather noncommittal here this morning as well, which does not help. You know, if you're looking here at the Raptor and you start to get all this candy striping, not a bad idea to sit on the sidelines for a bit. After all, you don't have to take every trade. All right, let's see what we get. Not even giving me a chance here to get my trade to break even. There's the number one signal. I'm looking for a, a break of this little swing high right there, that 7518 area. That'll give me a chance to roll my stops up. Come on, get up there. All right, stops at break even now. And come on, buyers. Where's that follow through? Where's the next resistance line? Ooh, primary resistance way up there. I don't think I'll try to press my luck that far. Uh, did not get my profit target, obviously. Um, we should come back here with a number two signal to short. Not much of a test of the extreme, I have to say. The fact they did not go higher after breaking out opens up the possibility of a move lower. And I have to admit, I'm borderline over trading here. Okay, no signal to short. Rather, we come back with yet another flurry to the buy side. I'm going to put my just in case order to buy up here. Oop, that's not what I want. That'll work and mark it if touched. There we go. So we're going to produce another number one signal. There we go. Okay, we're in. I'm going to set up my stop loss.
Okay. Wow. You know, I've mentioned this before, but there are days where the market will just not be cooperating. The swings are just going to be too broad. Um, and there's nothing you can do about it. There's just going to be those kinds of days. And you can see we've got loads of volatility here today. Uh, we haven't really gone anywhere. Well, okay, that's not entirely true. We have made some decent moves, but for the most part, uh, we're retracing the same kinds of numbers. And we're probably more importantly, we're not getting the follow through. We're getting these breakouts. Massive pullbacks. The market is not behaving as it should. So we'll just wait. Okay, they're trying something higher again. Well, some of these signals are definitely going to be easier to take in hindsight. We'll see if we get a pushback here from this number three signal. That may offer a second push opportunity. Or not. Compare today's trading with yesterday, where the market made nice follow through on the signals and, you know, there was, it was still volatile. The market was moving very, very fast. But you could make sense of it. You could make sense of the moves. Not today. Huh. Now we're getting a really strong move lower again.
All right, well, we can see where the sellers have made their stand. Sellers dug in here at 75.28. And it appears as though the buyers may be digging in here around 74.98. We're gonna get our trend change signal here on the Eagle. Am I going to be too early? Got to get that out of the way. I'm liking the double pushback. Okay, back to the hard edge. I'm not gonna chase this trade because of the uh, volatility that's here today and the tendency of the market to reverse on itself so quickly. Okay, we got a trend change going on here with the Falcon, and we have a number three signal here on the Raptor. So a couple of the birds coinciding. All right, here we go. Bring my stops in for starters. And now I will look to get a break-even opportunity. Come on, sellers. Not asking a lot here. Yeah, Ray says yesterday's close was 75.03 and a quarter. We kind of stuck around those numbers, aren't we? No love. We're getting, uh, you know, some big swings, but no trend. Not yet, anyway.
going to tap me out, I bet. Last chance for the sellers, and I don't think it's going to be enough. The best stop for this trade, by the way, is way up here. But honestly, at this point, I would probably bring my stop into here anyhow. And now it looks like I'm going to get tagged out. So we're breaching this short term trend line and there's the bullish pushback. Well, I haven't quite hit my loss limit on the day, but given how the market is bouncing around, I would seriously consider uh, stopping trading today. I'll do one more trade. But like I said, you have to recognize that there are going to be days where the market's just going to do what the market's going to do. And if you keep finding yourself on the wrong side of the trade equation, don't decimate your account. There's always tomorrow.
Okay, well, here we are back near the top end um, of today's highs. In fact, I think we poked through ever so slightly, made 75.30. Got a little bit of a test of the extreme. Wow, and a quick move lower. Okay, well, we're back toward the bottom end of this trading range. I'm wondering, the breakout higher, is that going to fail? You can see we're producing a sell signal. But a lot of these signals have been short-lived. Okay, we're getting a very drawn out late filter entry signal on the Falcon uh, that coincides with the number one signal here on the Raptor. Again, very drawn out, but we're back at the median line. That would be a mo monster move. Back down toward the lows of the day. I don't know. Do you think we can recover that much? We were there just there an hour ago, not even. I 
I know it's a monster range, but we effectively have the market pinched. I know I've said that before, but we do now. And it would look something like this. So we're stuck around the median line. If we break down below the median line, well, there's a reasonable expectation we're going to head to primary support. If we bounce off the median line, then there's a good reason to suspect the market will try to get up to the primary resistance. This is going to be my last trade this morning. Uh, I do need to close the room at the bottom of the hour again. All right, I'm gonna try it to the short side. So I'm gonna leave a proper stop here to start. I know it's huge, but somewhere, even if the market rallies somewhere through here, there's going to be Uh, at least one more swing, one more opportunity. I would dearly like to see the market break the 77, uh, pardon me, 74.99 area, just so I can comfortably bring my stops in.
okay, I can roll my stop a little, but it's really not looking very promising. It's just more of the same. The market's just back and forth. Yeah. Okay. Like I said, it's just that kind of day. We're not getting any kind of follow through. All right, gang. I think we're going to close up shop here. If you are going to uh, try to continue trading today, You know, I can s just see today's entire range. This is today's session. You could see it as one gigantic trading range. And until we get out of that range, it's going to be really tough slogging. All right. Um, hopefully the market will behave a little better tomorrow. We'll try it again. And I'll talk to you then. Bye for now.